Now we're gonna tie on some black hackle. And I gauge it to see if the length, if it's a little too long, don't worry about getting to trim it or let it that way. Trust me, a little extra long hackle ain't going to keep no fish from biting on your fly. Now we're going to dub with this black dubbing. Um, if you're tying the tan caddish, you can use tan or black, or we use this black UV dubbing. I'm going to wrap that up to right be about three quarters of the length of the shank. Now we're gonna run our hackle up armor style. So we're gonna leave gaps in it. We're not gonna dub it like we are a dry fly. We're gonna rib it with this and represent the legs of the fly with this. I'm gonna wrap this up right behind the hook. Now we're going to use this up and up wings here. You could use elk hair if that's what you choose. Um, we're going to use these up and up wings. I'm going to tie this in right behind the eye. Look, make sure you leave room to tie this fly on. A little gap there to tie the. You're going to wrap this around two or three times. Make sure it's on top. This is a killer caddis. We've been using this instead of elk hair and they've been deadly. We just caught a bunch. If you'd watch the last video on Pine Creek, we were catching them on this caddis. We slayed them. We caught three big, big trout a day on them. So tie them up. They're really awesome. Hey, long riders. Hope you like that fly. Hope you're having a good time getting out fishing in this while you're stuck. Not going anywhere. You still go fishing. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip. You guys have a long, a good day. See you next week.